Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The Auto Selection tool introduced in Photoshop Elements 2018 lets Photoshop Elements attempt to automatically select an object in an image by having you draw a selection shape around it. While this tool will not often perfectly select the entire image, it is a terrific starting point from which you can then refine the selection it makes. It is also very easy to use. To use the Auto Selection tool, select the Auto Selection tool from the toolbox and, if necessary, the Tool Options bar. It shares a button within the Select Button group with the Quick Selection Tool, Selection Brush Tool, a Magic Wand Tool, and the Refine Selection Brush Tool. In the Tool Options bar, then choose the type of selection to create. To create a new selection, ensure the New Selection button is chosen. To add to an existing selection or subtract from an existing selection, instead choose either the Add to Selection or Subtract from Selection buttons. To then select the type of selection tool to use to create the selection area within which elements will look for an object to select, make a choice in the section of the Tool Options bar to the right. You can select either the Rectangle, Ellipse, Lasso, or Polygon Lasso choice. You use these selection shape tools just as you would use the corresponding selection tool within the toolbox. If the Sample All Layers checkbox is checked, then the Auto Selection tool will try to select an object in all layers you click and drag over. If unchecked, it will restrict itself to the currently selected layer. To constrain the selection to the inside of the region you click and drag over, check the Constrain Selection checkbox. If unchecked, the selection can extend beyond the area over which you click and drag. After setting the tool's options, then click and drag over the area in the image that contains the object you want elements to automatically select. Note that you will need to create this selection area using the selection methods of the shape type you selected. For example, if you chose the polygon lasso shape, then you would click at the different points around the area back to the starting point to make the shape selection. After making the shape selection, Elements then tries to select the object within the area you chose. If needed, you can then use the Add to Selection or Subtract from Selection buttons in the Tool Options bar with this tool to quickly refine selection errors by clicking and dragging over them too. This helps to quickly give you a selection area that you can then use or further refine if needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.